And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really at all. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did she say she's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. And just when we had things settled... More enemies! <laughs> We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. Maybe. 
A group of wounded Ash Warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. It's packed full. The band took his men north with Ter and Loghain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Loghain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as Regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south. Chasing from the wilds and farmholders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. Well then, let me go! But there aren't any! Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me! What are you joking, right? I could never be a soldier. I'm not going down without a fight! Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with Darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors or not at all. That's exactly what it means. You wish to do this brother of yours a service? Avenge him. The time to look for survivors will come later. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away.
Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at the Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. I'm not sure I like any of it either, but we don't have a lot of choice in the matter. Of course you have a choice. You could run and forget about it all. Let the Darkspawn do as they wish until other Grey Wardens come. If they come. That's what you call a choice? It may not be a good choice, but it's a choice nevertheless. We all choose our path, even when it seems there is only one direction we should go. How enlightening. At any rate, I'll stay with you whatever you decide. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. I want to go home. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many didn't. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. Then you'd best clear out. We're loyal to the king here, and word from the north is the wardens betrayed King Caelan. Tern Loghain has a bounty on any who survived. That's not what the Tern's bounty says. I don't have the steel to try you, but you may want to watch yourself around those who do. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. You could talk to the Elder. Though she's got her hands full, getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Were? You mean they're gone? 
Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Don't let me stop you. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? What will happen to us now that the king is dead? I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. The blight has truly come and the king is dead. We're all going to die. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. The ban has marched north with Tern Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Look how they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. It is sad to watch how helplessly they scurry about. Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, and the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? Thank you. That's very kind. Bless you. This will help us a great deal. Thank you again for helping us. It's been difficult since we were robbed. Wasn't everyone? Those bandits have jumped every wagon and caravan in sight of Lothering. You killed them? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Some main men with swords came, and Mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. You're a really nice lady, kind of like Mother. I should go look for her.
So let's talk about your mother for a moment. Right. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. For you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Who are you? Can you protect us? As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. I almost feel sorry for the Kunari locked in that cage. It won't be able to defend itself from the Darkspawn. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Same reason the Chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Is there any reason to be happy? With the King dead, them Darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe knights were looking for it, as if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. Greetings, milady. Best be careful. Darkspawn are coming. So how is it that Terran no gain survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south? I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. He's a hero, that's what he is. Too bad he couldn't save poor King Kalen. Blast those Grey Wardens, they deserve what they got and more. I'll say. First they drag the King down there and then they throw him to the wolves. It's no wonder it all went bad. Got a brother that fell at Ostagar. Hope we're not next. What will happen to us now that the king is dead? I've got a cousin in the Templars. He says the mages in the tower out on Lake Kalanhod are all turning into demons. They always say that, though. It will this time, it's true. They're not sure what to do about it yet, he says. What's to do? I thought you killed them. Easier said than done. Mages pick a fine time to go turning into demons, I tell you. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there is no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Tern Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the king. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right, let's make this quick.
right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I was there! The turn pulled us out of a trap. The wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing! What do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I am glad you found it in your heart to offer those men mercy. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Maker told me to. I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. I can fight. I can do more than fight. As I said, I was not always a lay sister. I put aside that life when I came here. But now, if it is the Maker's will, I will take it up again. Gladly. Please let me help you. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. You hear about food? Take it up with that blade run by the Chantry. I've got other gear to sell. A whole mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tales, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleeding merchant outside about half my larder two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. For now, that gouger isn't careful. He'll wind up in the cage with a canary, or worse. Mark my words. <sighs> People get more desperate by the day. You will. Odd thing to be doing. But we'd appreciate it. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Well, there's herbs in the North Wood. As for other stuff, look around town. Some refugees just left things behind to travel faster. I don't really know what you need, though. I, I might have some in stock, too. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orlais. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. 
Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Taura, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Terran Loghain is the new regent. Isn't that a good thing? I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. I thought Darkspawn killed the king. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably political nonsense. We'll be lucky if they don't burn down the entire country fighting over the throne. Hello, uh, stranger. I... Don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the Maker. So his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. I would happily pay you to make some. There's wood and nails and other goods around the village in the forest. But you probably already know that. Sorry. Come back if you make some. Oh, what a relief. Thank you, stranger. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? I want to go home. What happened to the king is so terrible. Is anywhere safe now? You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Lothering's full up with refugees. Might be space in Alison's barn. Speak up. A Grey Warden, are we? Did I mention I'm the Bleeding Queen of Ferelden? Looks like you can fend for yourself tonight. Too much to do, and not enough time. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Maker's breath. You've answered my prayers. <laughs> All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best. But we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Tantric? 
No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Uh, you never know, right? I... no. I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. <laughs> They say your mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kukari Wilds. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right, and they are right in this. You know the stories about... Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. There's been so many of these men lately. Heartless opportunists, all. It is only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. A fine compromise. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. 
But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. I... I ran, hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. Are you calling me a coward? I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will come. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. The evil shall descend upon us! And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. What? Oh, you got him to speak! Ha! Uh, what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, he cheated. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Good to see you again, Sister Leliana. Thank you, Sir Meron. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. The revered mother runs the chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templar stationed here. Not since Teyrn Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Make her watch over you. <laughs> 